I filmed two videos before filming this one, but this one needs to go up fast, so if there's any weird referencing to other videos that don't seem to make logical sense, there's your explanation. What's good everyone on YouTube? It's me again, back with another video. And yes, in the process of filming two other videos, uh, someone came to the door. I think it's actually in one of the videos um, that I'll upload later. And um, delivered the shoe today that I'm going to review. And this shoe was a pretty interesting collaboration between Nike and Ambush. So Ambush is this fashion brand um, that's sort of known a lot for its like creative like jewelry, I think. And um, for this collaboration, they decided to take the silhouette of the Nike Dunk High and sort of modify it in a pretty interesting way. Um, Ambush has done other collaborations with Nike. Uh, the one that I remember was the Air Max 180, uh, where it was just like this sort of um, shroud thing that you zip up. Um, but I think this Dunk is definitely probably one of the strongest uh, Nike Ambush collaborations. And this colorway, I think, is the best colorway to release so far. Don't fight me on that. I'm right. So, without further ado, today we'll be talking about the Nike Dunk High Ambush in the Deep Royal colorway. So, without further ado, let's get into the box. So, the box is a pretty standard Nike Lab sort of black box, but instead of the uh, Nike branding on the side, we've actually got the Ambush in very bold white. And then, if we pull out this, the box, we actually greet it with this Ambush and Nike branded paper, which I think is quite nice. And uh, on top of, and below that, we've got a standard layer of paper, and then the shoes are stocked with pretty standard packing paper. And stocked with the shoe, we come with uh, two extra laces, so we get a pair of um, deep royal uh, waxed laces with uh, metal lace tips, and then we cut, we get a pair of uh, you know pure white laces with uh, metal lace tips. Um, I like the options. I personally think the black laces on the shoe itself already looks pretty good. Um, I might consider the deep royal laces, but not really my thing. I think the black looks fine just as it is. If we move to the side, it reads Nike Dunk High Ambush. So, the retail price on these. These shoes retail for a price of $250 here in Australia. I'll put the conversion here. And for $250, I definitely think it's a little pricey, I guess, if you consider the regular Dunk uh, retail price being like usually sub 200 But given the uh, amount of modifications they've done on this shoe, I actually feel like they've made it look quite different from a regular Dunk High. So I thought it was worth it, but that may be up to you. So with the box out of the way, let's get into the shoes. And here we are. The Nike Dunk High Ambush in the deep royal colorway. So, the first thing you may notice when looking at this shoe is its modified sort of height, and they've got some pretty interesting paneling done as well to make this look quite different from your regular Dunk High. I'll flash a photo up, but like, regular Dunk Highs don't seem to have as many layers to it, at least on the back piece, but this shoe definitely sort of shines in that area. But starting off with probably the most notable thing about this shoe, uh, we've got this really oversized rubberized swoosh, and the rubberized swoosh actually comes up on the lace hole um, panel, as well as extend further back from the shoe, and it's actually disconnected from the rest of the shoe. And it comes to a really nice sort of like flashy kind of point. And I always think, when I looked at this, I always thought it kind of reminded me of Gundams, um, with their sort of like wings on the face. Um, but I think it's a really cool detail, and it really sort of adds to the aggressive nature of this shoe. The front half of the shoe really is like a standard dunk. You've got the standard toe box with the perforations uh, done in white. And um, accenting this, we've got this very nice uh, deep royal color, which is a lot darker than say, even like a royal blue Jordan 1 or like a hyper royal, well hyper royals look like UNC, but like a royal blue Jordan 1's blue leather is not as dark as this, but I think it's quite beautiful because of it. And then as mentioned before, um, we've got wax laces, and stock on the shoe itself, we actually get a pair of uh, black wax laces, and uh, they have metal aglets as well. And one thing that I kind of wanted to note, which I thought was a bit of a strange detail, the, the little panel that is used to sort of hold the tongue in place seems to be lower than regular Dunk Highs. Normally they put the, the lace, uh, I don't know what you call it, a lace catcher, a bit higher, but here they've almost put it down low as if it was a low top shoe. 
Just something I noticed, but I don't mind. And then the tongue itself, uh, the front part is actually done in this very nice white leather. They've got the Ambush and Nike branding on the top. But then if we look at the back and along the edge of the tongue, we've actually got this raw yellow foam, which kind of gives it this weird sort of like future vintage kind of vibe, which I think is a pretty interesting look. And then moving to the back of the shoe, this is where we'll notice most of the changes done to the Nike Dunk High. So while we do have the usual wing panel that comes off that's detached from the shoe if you want to uh, have it that way, flapping around, um, just the sort of shape and silhouette is quite different. So right at the bottom we've got this heel clip that extends out like a shelf, and on this heel clip we've got the Ambush branding. And then moving up, uh, even just on this panel here, there seems to be this additional padding that's been done to make it stick out further than this ridged part. And then on top of all this, um, we actually get this completely new additional layer of leather done in the hyper, uh, not hyper royal, the deep royal colorway. And this panel as well is padded, so it sticks out um, sort of in line with the bottom piece. I think it's a very interesting look, um, and it definitely makes the back look way more interesting and more aggressive. And it's made the shoe uh, a bit higher as a result. So then moving down to the midsole, this is where we go into more of the uh, retro, you know, the, the futuristic and the retro together again. Because uh, the midsole is actually done in this off-white colour, so it's supposed to give it this sort of like vintage look. And I think it's pretty interesting that they've opted to go with such like vintage details on such a futuristic looking silhouette. But weirdly, I think it works. And one strange detail that um, I don't think many people have uh, mentioned, but it was apparently uh, in the, the comment section of a video, uh, my brother told me about this uh, just before. Um, there is actually no stitching it, where the line usually is for um, stitching. So most Jordan ones and dunks use stitching to hold the upper and the midsole together, but here you can clearly see the line here is completely empty. And um, I just thought that's such a strange detail and such a strange thing to not include, but Hey, as long as the shoe holds up together, I don't mind. And then moving to the outsole, we've got a pretty standard uh, outsole and it's done in this uh, deep royal colorway. Um, it really is reminiscent of the Jordan 1, or well, more accurately, the Jordan 1 is reminiscent of this shoe. Um, sands a little bit of like extra detailing and um, more precise like molding. So that pretty much covers the main features of this particular shoe. In terms of sizing, I usually find that Dunk Highs usually fit me a little bit tight, so I tend to go upper half size, and I went upper half size in these shoes, and I found that they do seem to run a tiny bit bigger than regular Dunk Highs. So, um, depending on if you have like a wide foot, if you have a wide foot, you could probably still stick with a half size up, but if you have a more standard foot, I could probably recommend going true to size in these shoes. Um, so... For me, I would just say true size to half size up would probably be my best recommendation. So I'm typically a US 9.5 in most of my sneakers. I bought these in a 10 and they fit me pretty well. If I wear thicker socks, they fit me perfectly. So really, it's not too bad. Now, in terms of comfort, the underfoot comfort, I have this very strange relationship to it because I've just tried it on like literally like half an hour ago. But the insole itself um, seems to be extremely um, unsupportive. So when you put your foot in the shoe initially, it's one of those instant comfort when you stand on it. But the second you put some weight on it, you find that you will bottom out the insole really quickly. And then you're just sort of stuck with this hard uh, rubber cup sole. And the rubber cup sole honestly is not remarkable. Um, so I probably actually... I am considering probably changing out these insoles because these insoles really seem like they're gonna bottom out very quickly. The upper itself, um, the leather they've used is actually extremely soft and I find that it's uh, very nice and plush around the foot. Um, the heel doesn't seem to have too much support. Um, there doesn't seem to be a very strong heel clip. So if you're gonna try and play basketball in them, that might be an issue. But just for general walking around, I find the leather is quite nice and um, it may probably get pretty hot because it's an all leather shoe, but that's kind of par for the course for shoes like this. So overall, I would just say uh, this is uh, pretty expected for a Nike Dunk. Um, but let's be honest, no one's buying Dunks and no one's on this Dunk wave just because of their comfort. And that's where I get into my opinions of this shoe. 
And I just feel so fortunate to have won this shoe. Um, this is a shoe that I definitely thought was really interesting as soon as I saw it. Um, I remember the original black and geez, the bright pink colorway coming out. Uh, the pink was no good just cause like it's all one color. And the black was like 90% the way there, but I don't know about you guys, but for myself, Jordan 1s and Dunks that have the same colored outsole as well as the midsole just always look really strange to me. Um, and what's weird is it doesn't apply to Air Force 1s. I feel like the opposite's true for the Air Force 1s where if they have a contrast outsole color to the midsole, it looks a bit odd, but Air Force 1s just seem to look better with one uniform color. But this dunk um, really is kind of perfection in my opinion. We've got very nice color blocking. Um, I'm a sucker for blue. Blue is my favorite color. So this blue and white is a very beautiful color in my opinion. Uh, the black swoosh with the laces and the sock liner is a nice sort of accent. And just this off-white midsole I think adds that sort of retro touch to this very futuristic shoe. And, you know, just like how I mentioned the black one had a uniform color which kind of made me um, steer away from the shoe. This has the contrast color between the outsole and the midsole. So it's basically 100% the way there. And the leather was actually quite a nice uh, uh, surprise. It was actually quite soft. So overall, I would just say if you have the chance to pick these up, um, definitely uh, go for them because I think they're a very uh, aggressive looking uh, silhouette. And I think it's a very unique uh, dunk rendition. Um, I know a lot of times with dunks, it's mostly like colorways or very small details like a lace dubre. But this, I feel, really sort of changes it up. And I think a collaboration that really leaves its mark on a silhouette is uh, something worth uh, getting. So with that, we've come to the end of another video. So I'd love to hear what you guys think of the Nike Dunk High Ambush in this Deep Royal colorway. And out of the three colorways, um, how would you rank the colorways that have released so far? So, very easy for me. For myself, this is number one, the black is number two, and that all pink pair is number three, and you cannot change my mind on that. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So, like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if you're into more sneakers, dance, vlogs, that sort of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. Time for the on feet, and I'll catch you guys in another video.